Hello everyone, this is the Green Snake Gamer playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Industrial Park. Now, as always, I'm gonna go around the area and collect shiny objects by breaking these tiki's. As you can see, in order to go to the next area, we need 40 golden spatulas. So this way leads us to the industrial park. Here we have a new objective, Robo Patrick Ahoy. Now this is just a boss fight against Robot Patrick. As you can see, he has nine bars of health, three different colors, so we have three sections to the boss fight. This is the first section of the boss fight, and he does the spinning attack, launching the zoo everywhere. Just keep moving. Do your best to avoid them. After he does a spinning attack, he'll get dizzy and give you an opening to hit the button on his back where that kick me sign is. So just do your best to avoid the goo when he's doing the spinning attack and keep moving. Now hit that sign. Always keep your distance from him. When he does the spit attack, he'll usually spit in the direction you're moving. So when he does that, just quickly run in the opposite direction, or if you're standing still, he'll launch it straight at you. starts the second section of the boss fight, where we play a Sandy. Same as with Spongebob, you just want to avoid the goo that he launches everywhere. Just so stay on the move. Now run up and hit that kick me sign. Now things are going to get tougher. As you can see, he's filled the center with that toxic goo. Now we can no longer walk on the ground up to him from behind. Just 
just wait for him to get dizzy again. Now you'll notice these swing hooks. You just want to swing on them to pull some crates down to create platforms for us to use to get over to his back. Just keep moving quickly to avoid him throwing up that goo at you. When he does the spin attack, he'll also break the crates that we put in the toxic goo to get close to him. So keep that in mind. And wait for him to get dizzy before you start pulling down more crates. Then attack his back. Now this begins the last section of the boss fight. Okay, once he gets dizzy, he gives you an opening. Be careful on these moving platforms, and you gotta use the bubble bowl move in order to hit that kick me sign on his back. He also has this new ice breath attack. Just jump over it to avoid it. Try to be as close to him as possible. if it wasn't for her. Aw, oh, shucks. These fillers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fuzz in my pants. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket security system. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, we're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas. Or I'll never get back into the Chum Bucket and regain control of my robot. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Hmm, something's fishy here. Now, we have a new objective on top of the chum bucket. And this opens up the third section of Bikini Bottom for us to explore. But we'll be exploring here later. First, I'm gonna go back and break all these tiki's. Thank you. 
for defeating Robot Patcher, we have a new move we can do. This is the Cruise Bubble move. As you can see, it lets us fire this bubble missile. And we can control it for 5 seconds. Now for defeating Robot Patrick, this completes the objective Robot Patrick Ahoy. So we did get a golden spatula for that. And unlock this cruise bubble move. So we have 5 seconds to move it around the screen and aim it at targets. We can destroy robots from a distance as well as activate switches. So there are a few places we need to use the cruise bubble. The first is right here in Jellyfish Fields, so I'm going to use the taxi to go over to drain the lake. Okay, I'm going to switch to Spongebob. It's been a long time since we've been here. Now, there is a sock for us to collect that we needed the cruise bubble move for. Which is up the path here. While I'm heading toward it, I'm gonna go ahead and break the tiki's and destroy the robots in my way. the bubble ball move, you can destroy these tartar sauce robots in one hit. Okay, now here's the pressure plate we need to stand on. hit. That was a lucky hit. Now by standing on this pressure plate, it makes these tiki's appear. You need to use the cruise bubble move to destroy them. If you get off the pressure plate, they will disappear. Destroying all the floating tiki's, this will give us a sock. So now we have completed jellyfish fields. Now before I go, one last thing to take care of, and that's that tartar sauce robot that shot me. Just a little payback. The next place we need to use the cruise bubble is in downtown Bikini Bottom. So go to the last challenge, come back with the cruise bubble. Now you'll notice there's something floating over there. We need to use the cruise bubble on the other side. So let's get these robots out of the way. Use the cruise bubble to take care of these chuck robots from a safe distance. Now, once you're over here at the east window, use the cruise bubble move. Over here is a switch we need to activate with it. This will get a moving platform to appear. And we can use it to get to that golden spatula. So now go to the west entrance over here. Right by this west window and use the moving platform to reach that golden spatula. Now, 
You also want to take note of that swing hook right there, floating in the air. We'll need Sandy over here. Now this completes the objective, come back with the cruise bubble. However, we do have one more sock we need to collect. So in order to get it, we need Sandy. So go to the bus stop next to Mr. Krabs. Now we need to use the moving platform that we used to get that golden spatula to take us close to that swing hook. Okay, so now we can use it. As you can see, there's a little entrance on the left with a purple shiny object, a sock, and an enemy. So let's get rid of the robot. Now we can collect the purple shiny object and the sock. And activate this switch to open up the south entrance here. So now we can switch back to Spongebob. Now this completes all the objectives in Downtown Bikini Bottom and gets us all the socks. So Downtown Bikini Bottom is now clear. So let's go back to Bikini Bottom. Now before I save my game, I'm gonna go around again and break the tiki's. I know it's a pain, but trust me, you really need the shiny objects. You need a ridiculous amount of them. Now are you tired of activating that button? Well, you don't have to anymore. Now that we got the cruise bubble, we can just send the cruise bubble up here to blow up the tiki's. Now you'll notice that Mr. Krabs is gone. He's moved to the last section of Bikini Bottom down there. So I'm going to go ahead and save my game. This will be the end of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Industrial Park.